be everywhere. Welcome to a Monday edition of Marketing for Owners with John. Be everywhere, why? Well, because your customers are everywhere, or more importantly, your potential customers are everywhere. And by everywhere, I mean they are online, they are offline. Uh, think of um, social media these days. There are so many things coming out. You've got Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, um, Google+, LinkedIn, and then uh, of course there's videos. You can have YouTube, but in addition to that there's Vidler, there's Vimeo, Wistia. Um, of course videos can be on Facebook. Videos can be on the little Vine, you know, the little six second videos from, uh, from Twitter. Uh, Instagram allows 15 second videos. And I'm just covering uh, the sort of modern online things. There's many, many ways to get to customers, but your customers are of all ages and, and these platforms are successful. People are using them. So for somebody, Instagram is their favorite. For someone else, Pinterest is their favorite. For someone else, direct mail, what comes in the post works. So make sure that you're everywhere. Now, of course, you can't do it all day long. There's only 24 hours in a day, and yes, I only have 24 hours too. Of course, you can outsource some of this, but it needs to be systematic and there needs to be a plan. You need to try. That's what I'm trying to suggest is just try them. You can't decide uh, what's going to work until you, until you try them. I mean, take Vine, for instance. Vine um, is owned by Twitter and, and produces little six second looping videos and kids go crazy on it. These kids are the customers of tomorrow. They're going to grow up and if Vine is what they grew up with. It's going to be what they stay with. I don't get Vine whatsoever, but the big brands, Coca-Cola, they're paying Viners, as they're known, to uh, hold a can of Coke in their thing. They're paying, they're sponsoring them and they're doing well. By putting your brand in as many places as possible, you're more likely to get to a wider audience of the kind of people that you want to get to. So don't use your own, uh, you know, if you're old like me, don't use your own judgment of what you like and what you don't like as what is going to affect your customers. Just try it. That's what I'm saying. Now, by coincidence, it's a Monday, so this week's uh, recommended book is called Changing the Channel. It's by my good friend Mary Ellen Trivi and her colleague Michael Masterson, who's uh, actually a true genius. We'll get another book of his on at some point. And they are from the direct marketing world, um, very successful business entrepreneurs, but they've learned how to work from direct mail into off uh, into online social media affiliate programs partner programs websites um, lead generation and everything and they cover the different channels and they'll talk about tv and radio things like that but expensive stuff we like the cheaper ones cheaper channels but it it gives a good insight of how businesses uh, can apply a multi-channel approach i recommend you go take a look at the book as uh, it's well read by people who do the doing in addition to that, this week's uh, podcasts are sponsored by Rainmaker, the good people from Copyblogger. And this website itself actually runs on the Rainmaker platform, so please go take a look. As usual, all of the show notes are on the on the blog at marketingforowners.com slash podcast. So you can see each episode, video and audio there. I'll see you soon.